three and captain is Josh Casey. Number four is top champion. Five is Joe McNary. Number nine. So we're underway here at Hewish Park in this FA Trophy third round match, an all-National League clash, and it goes out for an early throw-in, but it only goes out for a throw-in, which Tom Knowles will take quickly. He's got a long throw. Tom Knowles is going to try and find Ruben Reed in the box, but it's headed away by Woking, only as far as Dale Gorman, who's just outside the box. Is he going to have a shot? He is. It takes a little deflection, I think. Does that go out for a corner kick? It does. It's going to whiff it into the box. It's, it's low, and Max Hunt gets a ahead on it but does go wide so that goes out for a goal kick as Heedley the new low signing good interchange play between him and Low Everton Low Everton's now going to have a, a run Worthington nice. coming forward good interchange play and Heedley has an opportunity is he going to shoot oh. he doesn't but Tom Knowles is there but really good quick feet from the new signing Yeovil Town how many rounds are there in the trophy? so I think there's a fourth and then the quarterfinals so, real good opportunity. As Woking come forward once again through Tavon Campbell and Kretschmar with an opportunity and he skies wide. I think Kretschmar had some time to put that into the back of the net. I think Max Evans was beaten. Kretschmar's shot goes wide and that's the best opportunity for either side, Lawson. Yeah, no, really good chance to be fair. Just... So, Kretschmar will take this corner for Woking. Comes in and it's headed towards goal and it's cleared off the line. So close there for Joe McKerney to head home. Good defending, I think, in the end from Yeovil Town, but yeah. a great delivery from Kretschmar as it comes forward once again. McKerney is there with his hands in the air. Going to launch this one forward. It's a good delivery. Just headed on by Wilkinson, but goes straight into the arms of Craig Ross. So Woking have hit the bar from a corner. Yeovil haven't really come forward but they're breaking now Woking as Campbell might, well, so he scores Tavon Campbell's on the break from a Yeovil Town attack Craig Ross launched it forward and Tavon Campbell was on his own and hammered the ball home it was a good finish so on 23 minutes here Yeovil Town nil Woking one yeah it's a good finish to be fair he's uh, put it right in the bottom corner Came forward very quickly, didn't he, Tavon Campbell? Yeah, that's the, maybe the one thing that the lads would be disappointed in. So that's his 14th goal of the season. You know, well, kept him quiet in the league fixture, but he has scored today. He beats the great wall. It's a great that. delivery. And Luke Wilkinson heads wide. Ah, it's disappointing because that's a wonderful ball in, isn't it? it. Evil Town nil, Woking one. As Ross launched the ball forward and... Another free kick to Yeovil Town. Luke Wilkinson is fouled. Headley takes it again to Low Everton, but Low Everton gives it away to Rowan Ince. But intercepted by Max Hunt, who manages to keep it in. Good pull play oh, from him. And now Alex Bradley is coming forward and he shoots, and it's saved by Craig Ross. But Reuben Reed is there. And Tom Knowles was fouled in the build up to that. But the referee played on. but will have now drifted off sides and he is tackled but Gorman picks it up now Moss lovely interchange play from Yeovil Town good ball in from Alex Bradley oh, to Low Everton who's that's, a foul. that's an Surely. awful challenge awful him. challenge from Joe McKerney and the yellow card is out Joe McKerney who nearly scored it is yellow but you're right you've seen those given as reds nice. Headley making his way forward the new fullback and Low Everton on the ball now, taking on two defenders, but one of the defenders is fouled by Alex Bradley, so a free kick goes to Woking, and just not quite clicking going forward for Yeovil. And the good kick from the Woking goalkeeper, flicked on by Effie Ong to pick out Johnson. Johnson on the left gets a cross in, and it's dealt with just about by Yeovil Town. The way that fell, Max Hunt was able to clear inside the box. Point. And now Ruben's making, Ruben Reed is making a run forward to try and break, but just about cleared by Champion. But Yeovil Town okay. win possession back in the middle of the park. Gorman in the centre circle now running forward. Nice ball from him to pick out Knowles, who heads towards Matt Worthington. Oh. But Craig Ross is there to collect. And that was a good opening there from Yeovil Town. They need to do more of that, hit them on the break. Now at the centre circle, Gorman finds Moss in some space. Moss is now going to run forward. This is exactly the kind of space they'll want. 
picks out Bradley. Bradley is under pressure from Ince, but Moss is there, as is Low Everton. Low Everton beats his man. Low Everton's inside nice. the box now. Good interchange play. He shoots, oh. and it's wide from Low Everton, but wonderful. It takes a deflection, actually, so that will be a corner. Wonderful talent. Gorman launches it in. It's headed away by Champion, but it's kept in play. Good touch from Gorman to put it back in. Wilkinson is there, but Craig Ross collects it. And the referee blows his whistle for a foul, I think. Craig Ross is fine. He collected the ball. He won he the ball cleanly. Touch him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See. You're back on track. So Wilkinson so is in the book. Yeah, it's not great. Not gonna lie, we do the same thing. So. <laughs> Gorman plays in Worthington. A good little touch from him, but Headley isn't there. So Champion will try and see that one out. But Yeovletown win possession back on the edge of the box through Low Everton. A good shot <laughs> from Gorman. Took a little deflection, I thought, but. I'll tell yeah. you what, that was, that was some strike, <laughs> considering. He's hit that on the half volley. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Didn't <laughs> First time. Cleared just about by Yeovil, and Ruben Reid up, back up against Kretschmar, and Gorman tries to tackle Tommy Block, and Max Evans and Josh Staunton went for that one. Been a lack of a communication there, but it is finally cleared by the Glovers. Come on. Clearance is poor, so Headley is bursting forward now. Low Everton is there to support him. Low Everton... On the ball on the left-hand side. Good interchange play to find Headley again. Nice. Gorman on the ball finds Knowles. Goes back to Bradley, who's in some space. Bradley is going to shoot, but it's straight at Craig Ross, who does spill it. Mm. So it had some power, Bradley's shot, but not sure he needed to shoot from there. Ball launched forward once again. Fiova trying to make some progress on this right-hand side. They win a throw-in. Better from Yeovil in the second half. Tom Knowles tries to take it quickly, but the referee says no. Yeah. And the ball is going to trickle into the back of the net and the Oval fans <laughs> ironically cheer. Launches it forward, it's headed away by Max Hunt. Max Hunt winning every header. Good ball Go from off. Tom Knowles to find Low Everton. Low Everton is surrounded by players, so he has to turn. Good turn from Low Everton, out wide to Worthington. Low Everton. Little interchange from him and nice. Alex Bradley is... Foul just on the edge of the box on the left-hand side. Hands in the air. Good opportunity. Yeah. Oh. It's a great save from Craig Ross. That was creeping in to the back of the net. Craig Ross is mobbed by his teammates, and it's understandable because that was a good save. That was creeping in. As you said, you wanted, he was going to go for a shot, Lawson, <laughs> and he did. He has to turn again. Out wide to Tommy Block. Campbell on the edge of the area tries to pick out a cross but Dan Moss just watches that go out keep the ball because when they do they are forcing chances good hold up play from Yusuf to play in Worthington Worthington Can't finds the run of Headley Headley coming forward Barnett is there with some space on the left but he decides to go more centrally towards Adi Yusuf well, and it's a good opportunity yeah! yes! Yusuf equalises and that was a brilliant decision from Jordan from Jaham Headley to play in Adi Yusuf and he scores the equaliser that Yeovil Town have deserved and on 80 minutes Yeovil Town won Woking won it's a great finish he's been an outlet hasn't he Jimmy? yeah Jaheim's done very well, done this left-hand side. Jordan Barnett the is well and truly back because he's having a go at the referee. The ball's in our half. Yeah. You can't be offside. No, exactly, but they've taken it very much inside Yeovil's half and they're under pressure in the box now, Yeovil, and it's so close. But Max Evans, I think, had that one covered as they tried to kick it from just outside the box. Uh, what? Oh, just... <laughs> The way it slows everything down is so frustrating. Oh. And they give the ball away. Right, it's karma, though, and isn't it? And a great oh. work from Jordan Barnett, who is fouled, and he's really down hurt. But Adi Youssef is taking advantage, and he's out wide to Low Everton. Low Everton with a chance, and it's headed yeah! home! Yeah! Town have taken the lead! It's a header from Tom Knowles! 86 minutes gone, and Knowles heads home. Wasteful time from Woking, and Yeovil Town have punished them. They've turned it around at Hewish Park. Yeovil Town 2, Woking 1. What a ball from Sonny, and great header from Nolsey. Put it in the bottom corner, what a goal. Really good header. There's good karma, though, isn't it? You know, wasting, time wasting all half. Good touch from Jordan Barnett, one of those substitutes. 
who was fouled in the build-up to the goal, but he won't mind because Yeovil have taken the lead. Tom Knowles is through again. He's got an opportunity to shoot and it's saved by Craig Ross, but Yusuf is there. Somehow, Yeovil Town don't score a third, but real credit to Tom Knowles who's coming forward and Craig Ross was equal to it. And he kicks it for one more chance for Woking. Good feet from Max Hunt. Musa Diara is there to head it forward, but it's intercepted by Gorman. Now Low Everton is going to try and get it forward Come to Tom it. Knowles. Tom Knowles is through. He's looking for the offside flag and he plays in Yusuf. Can Yusuf finish it off? He fires it yeah. home and Yeovil Town will be in the fourth round of the FA Trophy. Adi Yusuf with his second goal of the game and his third in the past two matches. And that will be that. On 90 minutes, it's Yeovil Town three. Woking won. Yeah, quality from the boys. Great little ball from Sonny to find Nolsey in behind and then Nolsey just with the awareness set up Paddy. Great finish. Great finish. Yeah. There can't be long left. We've played five and a half minutes, but of course there was a celebration for that goal. That he used to get the opportunity, but the full-time whistle goes. A punch in the air from Tom Knowles. They were one nil down for so much of this match, but they turned it around and late goals mean that they are through to the fourth round. The unbeaten run continues, Lawson, and a be much better second half performance. Yeah, no, that second half was quality from the boys um, to keep digging in and, and just take the game to the boys. And, and like I said, we'll get the ball in the box and we'll score goals, and, and we did that. So, buzzing.